Hi everybody, this is City Readings and hi Cancer. Now let's see what is up with you guys. What are the messages that pop out for you? This is for Cancer. You can check out the link in the description box to find out what's happening next between you and your person. How are they thinking, feeling about you? Their next moves, outcome advice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your self-love message. I will also be linking your 2021 forecast in the description box if you're interested. What do we have for Cancer? What do we have for Cancer, please? What do we have for Cancer? okay we have the tower okay with the knight of pentacles here things are moving forward slowly but surely believe it or not pisces and scorpio go a very similar energy so i feel like it's a theme for you guys water signs i'm a water sign myself so what i'm getting here is that you're slowly but surely moving forward um the pace might be slow but i feel like you're getting back on track with something okay we have the seven of pentacles here in the reverse though wow i feel like something is going to be revealed to you here cancer i see you in a very prosperous energy with the four of wands this talks about marriage this talks about stability this this talks about being supported and guided by the universe okay we have the seven of pentacles in the reverse here i feel like you stopped waiting on a certain situation okay and moving into the future i feel like there's something that will be revealed to you i see you in a very detached energy though cancer she very detached your advice is the fool we will see what this is about Somebody is missing you, but you you may feel like it's a disaster waiting to happen. That's why you do not want to indulge in it. There you are. I love it how your reading is kind of like uh, the outcome is coming with the chariot, which is you. Your overall energy for the month is the moon and the ace of pentacles with the justice, the strength underneath that. So I do feel like I'm I'm getting a big vibe here, which is telling me that it's about divine timing. Okay, for a lot of you, we have Ace of Pentacles and the Moon energy here. So what I'm getting here for you, Cancer, is that there's a new beginning. But I also feel like there's a lot that will be revealed to you. I would have to clarify, but let's see. Uh, there's somebody who misses you, like I said, but you view the situation as a disaster waiting to happen. And I think it's a renewal. The energies are talking about some sort of a renewal in your life. Can you tell me more about the four of wands here for cancer with the sun in the reverse and the queen of pentacles upright the page of wands there is something that i see you getting back on track with i'm also seeing that something maybe was making you very unhappy but i feel like you're gonna get up and get going with the page of wands and the queen of pentacles energy i feel like a lot of you have an interest in something new in your life okay could be a new person or a new project or something like that i see you um reaching a very um stable position emotionally okay the situations in your life will turn out to be in your favor and things will get balanced whatever in your life was seeming like it's out of balance will come into balance finally we have the hierophant so the high priestess in the reverse is clarified by the hierophant which is a very 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 beautiful energy this talks about things being revealed to you. This talks about even marriage for some of you. So for some of you, if marriage is already involved here and things were problematic, I do see things getting better. But for others of you, I feel like this is a time period that you're actually manifesting a relationship in your life. Um, Four of Wands and Hierophant together do represent a relationship. Let's see. wow what i'm getting here is that you need to stop looking forward to something 
I think there is something that is still keeping you stuck and making you feel like feeling a little bit held back from something perhaps okay what is this about cancer because to me it looks like it is about something keeping you stuck and that is the thing that you need to walk away from with the king of swords i do see you detached or something in you is telling you to detach yourself but maybe you're having a hard time detaching from something could be anything yeah clarity of mind is the most important here i do feel like there are new beginnings here for you with the ace of swords and the ace of pentacles i even see an apology or communication this is that energy where i feel like you're, you could be moving forward but there's somebody who may come in with an apology and then you may feel tempted to go back something of that sort is what i get here okay with the three of wands and the six of swords you're being told to move ahead you're being told to make progress and to not look back okay you need to focus ahead because i feel like you could be looking back in the past with something what is the full card here for eight of wands wow your advice is to go with the flow of things eight of wands and the full card what i'm seeing here is that there's a new beginning that you need to take that leap of faith towards because this is something that the universe is telling you that you've been you have asked for okay with the tower here i do feel like this energy this reading is talking about some sort of a wake-up call all right um i'm first of all i'm seeing lots of communication and secondly i see a renewal like i see things changing for you in the future okay now six of cups and the five of cups energy is very evident cancer that there is somebody who wants to come back this is your person's energy the six of cups yours is the five of cups you're heavily disappointed in the connection and this person this person may show up but you may not want to accept what they gotta give Mm -hmm. or what they will be offering to you um tell me more about the judgment and the chariot the world in the reverse you're headed towards your wish fulfillment and your happiness something big here and something that has to even do with second chances okay but i see you very resistant to it there's a part of you that is open to the new possibilities in life. Then there's a part of you that is very resistant to it. And almost like second guessing yourself. Yeah, five of wands in the reverse. I think you're second guessing or you're not wanting to indulge in something because you do not want to be a part of drama anymore. Drama and resistance and just unnecessarily trying to fight for something is not what you're up to. Okay, I feel like you're going to be picking your own direction here. There's a lot of determination in your energy. But do you act upon it? Because the Fool and the Eight of Wands are talking about some sort, of, some sort of this action that you need to take towards something. As well as believe and take that leap of faith. With the Fool energy, this is talking about taking that leap of faith towards something. But the world here in the reverse is telling me that there's something left unsaid. Or there's something that, you know is seeming to be incomplete for your person even for you and i think that is what this person is wanting to clarify i think you're hiding a lot of pain here um for some of you you're on the outside you're seeming to be very strong but on the inside there is definitely something here cancer that you're hiding and you're not really letting it show through whatever that is um I think you're secretly feeling something that you're not wanting to express but you're not expressing it because you feel like you'll get over it anyway it could be disappointment your overall energy like i said is the ace of swords and the ace of pentacles so new beginnings along with the moon though so as much as it is about what is obvious it is also about what is hidden so I feel like this month is going to be very important for you to pay attention to the details and why things happen the way they do. I really am getting that there's some peacemaking energy. Somebody wants to make amends with you. Somebody wants to clear the air with you, perhaps. Okay. Yeah. 
there are brand new opportunities here as well for you in terms of your growth as a person. And these opportunities have lots of potential. I feel like this reading is really talking about growth as a person and evolution. Also believing in yourself. What is it that is confusing you? Because as much as I see you in a very determined energy, I see you confused. Closed off. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting that you're very closed off in your energy. Love addicted. Ooh, somebody is addicted to somebody here, which I am seeing that you also had a hard time walking away from somebody. So this could be your side or if it's not you, then it is them. Somebody here is love addicted. Somebody here is in love. Fight or an argument. Ignoring. Love yourself more. So what I'm seeing here for you is that you could be, you know, I feel like both of you are ignoring somebody. I'm getting that there's an argument with a friend or a family member as well, maybe that you had. But I think your message here is to love yourself more. The issue will, this issue will get resolved and then we have selfish and ego. Somebody is very selfish, very egotistical. What is this issue will get resolved? I feel like this is what is the high priestess and the hierophant talking about. That there is something that is seeming to be very tangled, but I feel like things will be revealed to you. Cutting ties and moving on. I see you moving on. Maybe you're moving on because somebody has been very egotistical and selfish towards you and now you're closing off. I do feel like some of you confronted this person or had some sort of an argument with somebody here as well and then you felt like it's, it's better to distance than to indulge in it anymore. Not satisfied, communication problems, yeah. Yeah. I feel like there have been many communication problems between you and your person. They're wanting to make amends. They're wanting to fix the situation with you. But I don't really think that you are open to it. Maybe you are, but you want for this person to explain a lot. Which is why I said you're, you're cutting ties and moving on because there's something you're secretly feeling. You may not be revealing it yet, but it doesn't mean that you're not feeling it. Okay. What do we have for Cancer? We have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. I feel like you're focused on yourself right now. Some of you could be meditating or, you know, you're shifting your focus. Children, for some of you, children are involved here or somebody just behaves like a child. It's time to go within. And honestly, I feel like this reading is talking about surrendering and things coming into light for you on their own. So there's a lot that you don't even have to be looking for their answers. You will find the answers. Cancer. Okay. Do check out the extended. It will be linked below to find out what's happening next between you and your person, your next relationship, and your self-love message. You can also check out your 2021 forecast, which will be linked below. We have your dreams need a practical plan. Be bold and make the first move and luck is on your side. So I really feel like, again, this is telling you to take action towards something. This is telling you to take that leap of faith towards something. And if there is actually something that you've been wanting to achieve, then this is a time period for you to take action upon it. You are already feeling very fiery with the Mars and Cancer energy very action oriented but sometimes that energy can be very deceitful it can make us do things that we did out of anger or just out of our emotions and then we may regret that later so just be mindful of that it's time here for you to channel that energy into doing something that you've always wanted to do and to move ahead closing cycles 
I feel like with this energy, with the Mercury retrograde as well, a lot of the past situations have been coming to the surface. Um, a lot of like unresolved um, trauma and stuff is coming to the surface. That's it. Those were the messages that popped out for cancer. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Check out the extended version link down below in the description box if you're interested. Take care of yourself, cancer, and bye-bye.